Hey everyone, this is CAC day one of strength training, demonstrating all of the parts of the workout. Let's get to it. Let's get it. She's gonna talk me through it and I'll show, what it look, show you what it looks like. So here we are at day one for the warm up, and Tom is going to show us what we're going to do. So first, first of all, I'd like you to set a clock for five minutes. And in five minutes, we are going to do 10 dumbbell bent over rows, eight lateral jumps over the dumbbell, six dumbbell deadlifts, four dumbbell reverse lunges, and two dumbbell up downs. Tom, we're going to demonstrate all of those. And once you go get to the two dumbbell um, up downs, you go back up to the 10 dumbbell bent over rows and you just cycle through that for five minutes. This will be as many as you can get through in five minutes. But yep. again, we're warming up, so this isn't really a race. Nope. Uh, just kind of moving. So first is what? Um, 10 dumbbell bent over rows. So Tom's going to stand um, hip width apart here. And he's got two dumbbells. He's going to hinge at his hips. His chest stays high and then brings the, el the dumbbells back. So elbows come straight back. You notice that he's not shrugging. So here you really want not too he heavy of a weight, especially for the warm up. If you are using an odd object, here is your option. Tom will show you. Now he's, since he's only got one, he's going to put his um, I would ask him to put his left leg forward. Ah, yes. And yes, and so you could be very stable. And now he's going to roll that way, and he would do t um, probably five on each side if you're doing singles. Okay. A couple things is just make sure when you hinge that you don't have the rounded back. So you're going to pull those shoulder blades back. In fact, think of this real quick. Put your shoulders all the way forward. Shoulders all the way up. Shoulders all the way back and then down. This is where you want your shoulders to be and then tuck your abs kind of nice and in your solid position. You want to hold that kind of a neutral flat spine with the shoulders back, not forward the whole way. So even when I bend over and then do this row, you notice my back is gonna stay flat all the way through. That's just gonna keep everything protected. And your core will be engaged, especially um, when you've got two dumbbells in, your hand, in each hand, one in each hand. Okay, from there, he's going to set his ob object or dumbbell down, and he's going to do eight lateral jumps over the dumbbell. So there's Tom jumping laterally. Now, if Katie was doing this workout, she would be stepping over the dumbbell. And so that's an option too. Again, we're just trying to warm up. Take it slow. Don't trip over the dumbbell and get hurt on day one. That's one. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna do six dead dumbbell deadlifts. And so again, this is going to be where Tom is hinging at his hips and he comes down, chest stays up. Yep, come down and then come back up. And you can really just touch the dumbbells down to the floor. All right, and look, see how he's hinging at the hips and the knees go bend. Hips, hips go, go back. back to get here and then the knees bend. Yep. Trying, it's not a squat movement. No. It's a hinge, hinge hips and, go back and then when you can't, you get to a point where here and my flexibility runs out so I don't want to be rounding down like nope. that then the knees will allow me to get down yep okay if you are using an odd object or a kettlebell we are going to be what do what's called a sumo deadlift and it's going to be from the center so you might spread have your feet a little bit wider and you could hold um, you want to hold with one arm or two um, so there's so if we want to do a suitcase we could do it one or we could hold them two Okay. That works kinda, too. Yeah. This is kind of tall, it, so to make sure I can get full range of motion. Yeah, I like, I kind of, now that I think about it, let's do the single. So, yep, there we go. Yep, I like that. And same for the kettlebell. You would, um, if you had one kettlebell, you would use that in this position as well. Okay, so then we're going to do six dumbbell deadlifts. Then we're going to do four dumbbell reverse lunges. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. I'll use both. And here he's going to step to the back. Um, now here I'm gonna encourage, you know, 90, 90 is great. If you can touch down your knee, great. Again, we're warming up. Don't, don't overdo here. Um, it's a warm up. So yeah, it would be a, a ton of weight for nope, this. four total. Yep. And then he's going to hold the dumbbells. Um, Cause we're gonna do two um, 
dumbbell up downs. All right, so now he goes down, kicks out, kicks back in, and stands up. Okay, down, out. All right, now if this is like, yeah, no, put the dumbbells down and do it body weight. Body weight is great, especially if you're using an odd object. Yeah, you don't want Please. an odd object for this one. You don't nope, solid nope. Again, we're just warming up. So in the five minutes, you would round through that as many as you could. So there's two. Yep. And then Tom would go right back up to the 10 dumbbell bent over rows. Again, flat back, neutral spine, chest up, abs engaged. And that's our warm up for day one. Here's the strength section of day one. We are going to do five sets every two minutes. So you're going to need to keep moving, um, and you may get a little you may get a little break, and you'll do three exercises. The exercises are going to be five on each side of a single dumbbell upright row. Feet are going to be hip width apart. Abs are going to be drawn in, and you're going to be bringing that um, dumbbell up, you're like your thumb up toward your ear. Yep. And here I would really encourage not too heavy of a weight. Okay. So five on each side. Five on each side. Yep. Just keep yep, the next the next movement is going to be a single dumbbell strict press overhead, single dumbbell shoulder press overhead, six on each side. Yep, keep your rib cage down, abs you engaged. Wanna, you don't want to pop up at the top like this. Nope. Keep everything down, everything solid. The back doesn't move, it's just from the shoulder. Yep, six on each side. And then from there, 14 curtsy lunges. These are holding the dumbbell or odd object um, in a goblet. And calling it curtsy. So go, go back as go back and down as far as your body is going to allow. If your hips are tight, that's going to be a little trickier. So just nice and easy, 14 total there. And then after you finish that, you rest for the remainder of the two minutes, and then you start up again at the top of the two minutes, and you do it again for five sets total. If your team ob odd object this week, you do the same thing, but just with your bag of books or whatever you've got. Um, starting with the single upright row, right? Correct. You do your dumbbell shoulder press. Correct. And then your goblet curtsy lunges. Correct. And that is the strength portion. Now we are going to begin the conditioning portion of today's workout. Um, for three rounds, you'll count your reps, if you're so inclined and in seeing how you're doing. Um, and it's gonna be an um, AMRAP, as many rounds as possible in five minutes. So that's gonna be your round. So let me say that again. You're gonna do three rounds, and each round is going to be an AMRAP for five minutes. And that means you're gonna round through that as many rounds as possible for five minutes. And then you will rest for a minute and then do your second round. Second round five, five minutes, minutes. yep. One minute, third round of five minutes. Correct, and that will be the workout. So what you will be doing is six Russian, either dumbbell, kettlebell, or odd object swings. Tom will demonstrate this. Again, a lot of hinging at the hips. You can see how he's holding the dumbbell. So okay. you start with kind of a deadlift motion to get it here. Uh, this is a little bit of an explosive mo movement. So you're hinging and you're going up as quickly as you can. Hips come through. Swing yep. and come through. Big thing with this, it's not a big pulling motion. You're getting most of the momentum through the hip drive. Um, and the other thing is you want to keep that, that back flat on the way down. You don't want to round down and then come up. It's not like this. You want to keep it nice and flat and get right up to eye level. Notice how it's just going through, you know, his upper, his thighs. He's not bending over. Um, so you can do the odd object. Yep. Or the kettlebell. Or the kettlebell. Kettlebell's preferred if you have it, but if not, no worries. See how he, yep, comes through, hip drive, nice and tight. All right, so he will do, you will do six Russian swings, then you'll grab two dumbbells and do push, eight push presses. 
that looks like feet about hip width apart, um, front rack up top, and you're gonna he's gonna do a little dip and drive. So you squat down and you drive and go overhead. And it's a very it's a it's like a um, yes. A little explosive. If this was a strict shoulder press, most of the energy would come through your shoulders. That's the heaviest on your shoulders. With a push press, you get to use the legs to drive it, and then your shoulders just stabilize. So. Yep. You know, this so it's is a, all shoulders to get overhead. A push press. I dip, dip, drive, dip and drive. And I go explosive on the way up. And just the just the explosive movement gets it to there, and then the shoulders just finish it. Correct. So you'll do eight of those. Again, watch the weight. And then from there, you'll set a odd object. Whoop, odd object. My bad. Front rack. Yep. Just a little dip and drive. Dip and drive. So it's not a full squat. It's not a full squat. It's just a little, um, little dip and drive. Okay. That's gonna be the lateral hops. So again, one, over a dumbbell. Three, four, five. Eight, yep. Ten. Do ten. It's one on yep. each side. One, two, three, four. So you will round through those three exercises for five minutes. Rest for a minute and do two more rounds of that. Yeah, that took me, if that took me a minute, 20 seconds to get through, I do it again. And I do as many rounds as I can get through in five. Rest a minute, keep it going. Yep, and that will be the workout. And that'll be enough. <laughs> and that is the end of day one. That's day one. Have fun. Let us know how it goes. If you have other questions, don't hesitate to reach out with comments and things. Uh, hope you have fun with this one.